Is working as a technical agent challenging and complex? Can you work as a technical agent for voice accounts only? Or is it possible for you to do it non-voice? What are the typical tasks that you will be doing once you're profiled in this department? Today, we'll talk all things related to working as a technical support associate. If this sounds interesting to you, just keep on watching. Alright, let's talk about the top video companies with tech support accounts. Number one on the list is VXI. We have Concentrix, Alorica, Movate, iSupport Worldwide, Ring Central, Cognizant, Accenture, Orbit, Tech Mahendra, Ibex, Cytel, and the list goes on. Which means that kapag nag-apply kayo sa alinman sa mga company ito, may possibility na maging technical agents kayo. Now, let's talk about the typical salary range of a customer service representative working as a tech agent. So, the average salary based on my research is between 17,000 pesos to 36,000 pesos plus incentive. So, based on my experience, ang ating incentive can be as high as 14,000 pesos, pero I hear na may mga companies na mas malalaki pa dito yung incentives dahil meron silang option para mag-upsell. Now, based on my research as well, there are signing bonuses, lalong-lalo na sa season natin ngayon, December. So, usually between September to December, sobrang dami po nang nag-apply, maraming companies na hiring, so may mga signing bonuses. It can range between 10,000 pesos to 20,000 pesos kapag nakapasa ka sa final interview. Well, let's talk about the typical tasks na ginagawa natin dito. So, kung natatandaan nyo, nag-work din ako as a technical support when I was working sa Concentrix before. Two months lang naman yon, pero syempre, marami na rin ako natutunan at nakapag-take in na rin ako ng calls na related sa tech. Number one na task is to perform troubleshooting steps to resolve an ongoing problem in the customer's device or service. It could be internet service or any other product. So, ako dati, since retail account ako sa Amazon, tapos na-transfer ako sa tech, ang ginagawa ko nun, nag-set up ako ng mga Echo devices. Siguro naman familiar kayo sa Alexa, sa mga Echo devices. So, yun yung sineset up at yun troubleshoot namin. Aside from that, tinuturuan din namin yung mga customer na mag-set up ng kanilang devices na connected sa Alexa. Halimbawa, gumagamit sila ng speaker, tapos i-coconnect yun sa Alexa device nila. So, tinuturoan namin sila ng mga ganon. Number two task is product setup. Newly purchased products have to be set up first and most customers need assistance from technical agents to do that. Gaya nga nang sinabi ko, kapag bagong bili yung mga Alexa or Echo devices nila, kailangan namin i-configure yon or i-set up at kailangan namin silang tulungan. Usually, mga grannies or matatanda yung hindi kayang sumunod sa mga instructions and usually, sinusunod nila instructions pero hindi gumagana yung device. So, tumatawag sila at kami yung tumutulong. Pero in case internet service naman yung tinotroubleshoot ninyo, may mga steps din kayong susundin. Number three, technician appointment scheduling. If the issue can't be fixed over the phone, tech agents will create a ticket for a qualified technician to go to the customer's house to fix the issue. So, ito rin yung usually last resort natin kapag ginawa na natin lahat ng efforts natin, exhaust na natin lahat ng resources natin para hindi pa rin gumana yung device, hindi pa rin nag-connect yung internet, so baka may mas malala ng problema na kailangan na talaga ng technician. So, doon, gagawa tayo ng ticket na tinatawag. May fill out ang tayong form doon. Tapos, may ma-generate dyan usually na code or ID number na pwedeng gamitin ng customer para mag-follow up tungkol sa issue. Tapos, syempre, pupunta rin yung technician. Usually, merong mga dates na pagpipilian kung ano yung availability. Pero, minsan dito rin nagkakaroon ng trouble kasi, di ba, last resort na natin to. Ibig sabihin, kailangan-kailangan ng ayusin, tapos minsan hindi aligned yung date na gusto ng customer sa date na available sa ating screen, sa ating computer. So, medyo mahaba-habang usapan pa kapag mga ganyan. 
Another important task is upselling. So I've experienced this in BXI. I found out that tech agents are also encouraged to upsell their services to customers to generate more sales or revenue, which benefits an agent in a way since he or she can also receive incentive once the rest of the metrics are passed. Pero ito yung medyo mahirap sa part ng mga tech agents kasi usually yung mga tumatawag dyan ay irate caller. So, paano man sila bibentahan? So, usually kapag na-resolve yung issue, kapag masaya na sila, doon ka magkakaroon ng mas magandang chance para mag-upsell. So, based on the task I mentioned, yes, being a technical agent is pretty challenging. You need to do all of these tasks, yet you need to stay calm and complete. Post. Technical agents for me are one of the calmest and most patient people you'll ever talk to. Troubleshooting can sometimes take hours. Even if the customer is cursing, yelling, or looking down on you, you need to remain calm and professional. It's a tough job. That's why there is a thing called complexity allowance when you're profiled to a tech account. You'll receive a higher pay compared to those who does purely customer service. So, ibig sabihin, kapag nasa retail ka, mas maliit yung sahod mo kumpara sa kapag naging tech support ka na. So, yes, it's interesting to know that you can be a technical agent for both voice and non-voice. For me, it's more challenging to perform troubleshooting when you're a chat support agent as there are some things that are way better explained when it's being discussed over the phone rather than through email, chat, or SMS. This is less toxic though as you can hear customers shouting due to frustration. So yes, may mga technical agents sa chat lang pero mas prefer ko siguro kung magiging tech agent ako is maging... Uh, voice na lang din kasi ang hirap mag-explain kapag sa chat lang. Now, before we proceed to our sample mock call, let's find out the pros and cons of working as a technical agent. This will help you to decide whether you're a good fit for this role or not. So, make sure to listen. So, let's start with the bright side of things. Pro number one, you'll develop a good personality trait which is patience. So, patience is everything. Diba? It takes... A lot of patience to be successful and all of that. So that's a positive trait for me. Pro number two, your technical knowledge can be used in resolving technical issues at home. Ang ibig kong sabihin dito is that kapag ikaw ay isang technical agent, halimbawa, may problema kayo sa internet sa bahay ninyo. So since alam mo na yung mga troubleshooting steps, pwede mong i-apply yun para maayos mo yung sarili nyo internet service without relying sa mismong provider ninyo kasi usually it takes days if not hours pa para makapag-contact ng support galing sa kanila. At halimbawa naman, kapag may Alexa or Echo device kayo tapos hindi gumana, pwede nyo rin gawin yung mga troubleshooting steps na alam ninyo. So, vi- valuable din naman siya. Pro number three, you'll learn the art of selling which is one of the most profitable skills to have. Yes, para yung maman ka, kailangan mo talagang maging expert pagdating sa sales. sales. Kaya matututunan mo to. So, yeah, pwede mo siyang i-apply sa sarili mong buhay. Pwede kang magbenta ng kung ano-ano right after work. Pro number four, you learn certain life hacks. For example, if there's an outage and you lost your internet connection at home for a few days, you can actually ask for a credit from your internet provider. Not everyone knows this. So, natutunan ko lang to nung nag-work ako sa telco. Kung hindi ko to, or kung hindi ako nag-work sa telco, may possibility na hindi ko to matututunan. So, kayo, kung hindi nyo pa naranasan, manghingi ng credit sa provider ninyo nung nawalan kayo ng internet service, gawin nyo na basta recorded at meron kayong natanggap na text or email na nagsasabing meron talagang ongoing outage. Tapos kapag na-resolve na, Sige, kontakin nyo yung customer service dahil I am 100% sure na ibibigay nila yung sa'yo dahil nangyari ka sa akin. So, yeah, do it. Pro number five, incentives. Night differential, complexity allowance, and higher basic pay are legit if you're working as a tech agent. So, yes, may mga incentives naman talaga, di ba? May night differential kasi usually pang gabi yung work natin at may complexity allowance. Ibig sabihin, complex o mahirap yung work natin that's why meron tayong additional allowance at mas mataas yung basic pay niya kumpara sa pagiging regular na CSR lang. 
So, let's talk about the cons naman of working as a tech support. Number one is burnout. So, I personally felt this when I work in a telco account. Perhaps it's because of my tenure since I've been with the company for nearly three years before I decided to quit. So, one thing I'm curious at is that there were agents who are way tenured than I do that stayed in the company for years if not decades. It could be because they generally enjoy their job or baka they don't have a choice but to stay. So you'll feel burned out kasi sa lala na mga mo most of the time, di man lahat masungit pero kadalasan oo. Tapos kapag paulit-ulit yung gawain, parang wala ng thrill. So gano, siguro kapag matagal na kayo, dun yung mag-feel yung burn out. Pero kapag love nyo talaga yung nagawa nyo, siguro mag-enjoy pa rin kayo kasi ako may kakilala na 10 years na siya sa BPO. Parang ang saya-saya niya pa rin. Makipag-usap sa mga customers kahit galit pa sila. Now, con number two, strict implementation of metrics. So, this doesn't apply to all technical accounts, but you need to always remain extra careful. Otherwise, a certain mistake can cost your termination. Masunurin dapat, be honest all the time, and accurate palagi. So, sa simple pagkakamali mo lang, maaaring matanggal ka kahit regular ka pa. Kaya, kailangan perfectionist ka pagdating sa mga processes and all. Con number three, complex tools. It can be challenging to navigate and use tools, especially if you're a newbie and an elderly. Pero once you get the hang of it, it becomes easier. Yun, isa rin ito sa mga problema ko. Actually, kahit nung umalis na ako sa company, nagkakaroon pa rin ng times na hindi ko alam kung paano i-load yung mga code code na ginagawa doon sa computer dahil dalawang computer na ginagamit namin. Pero natututunan naman, hata man natututunan. So, yan. Con number four, Shifting schedule. So, most companies operate 24-7, especially when you're a technical agent because a problem can arise at any time of the day. This can be taxing in your body, your sleeping pattern, and your overall travel safety. You may have shift in the morning, which is great, but most of the time, it's graveyard shift. So, worse, you may need to report to work at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., or 4 a.m., literally any time of the day. Ako kasi dati sa telco, Dealing ako. So, ang pasok namin, hindi pabago-bago talaga. Pero kapag sa tech ka, dun ko pa lang nalaman na hindi pala stable yung schedule. Pwede ka pumasok ng 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, medyo draining siya. Con number 5, stressful. So, this usually happens when you come across a difficult customer. A customer who doesn't follow your instructions, who treats you as if he knows better than you, who curse, yell, etc. It's mentally draining. So, hindi ko na-explain to dahil alam nyo na to. Pero you can do it. Doesn't always happen all the time. And it also depends on how you handle the call. There are irate customers and happy customers. So yun ang mga ganda. Yung medyo challenge ka para i-resolve yung issue. Tapos kapag masaya na sila, magtitinky na sila. Tapos babawi nila lahat ng sinabi nilang masasakit sa'yo. But yeah, dun siya naging worth it. Thank you for calling FASD Internet. This is Naomi speaking. How can I help you today? I'm truly sorry to hear that you're facing difficulties with your internet connection right now. I understand how important it is to have a reliable connection. I appreciate your patience, Ms. Miller. Let's work together to get this result. To start, may I have your account information, please? My account number is 8217679022. Thank you. I see your account here. Let me check if there are any reported outages in your area. Please bear with me for a moment. if there are any outages happening in our area. You're right. It looks like there's no reported outage in your area. The better assist you, could you please confirm if the issue is specific to certain devices or is it affecting all devices connected to your network? It's affecting all devices. Nothing seems to be working. Oh, I understand how inconvenient this must be. Let's try a few troubleshooting steps to pinpoint the issue. Can you please check if all cables are securely connected? Also, try restarting your modem and router if you haven't already. I've done that multiple times and still not working. I appreciate your efforts, Ms. Miller. Since the basic troubleshooting steps didn't resolve the issue, let's try some more advanced 
work. I'll guide you through a few additional steps to check the configuration. Are you comfortable doing that or would you like me to provide more detailed instructions? Oh, please guide me through it. Thank you. Let's check your device settings. Please go to your network settings and ensure that your device is set to obtain an IP address automatically. Let me know once you've done that. Okay, it's set to obtain an IP address automatically. Great, now let's power cycle your modem and router one more time. Turn them off, wait for 30 seconds, and then turn them back on. I've done that, but still not working. Well, I appreciate your efforts in completing those steps, Ms. Miller. At this point, it appears that we may need to schedule a technician to check your equipment. I understand this is inconvenient, and I apologize for the inconvenience caused. Would it be possible for you to have a technician visit your location, or is there a preferred date and time for the appointment? Well, I really need the internet for work, so the sooner the better. I completely understand the urgency, Ms. Miller. Let me check the earliest available appointment for you. Right, I've scheduled a technician to visit your location on December 15, 2023. You'll receive a confirmation by email shortly. In the meantime, is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that should be fine. I just hope that the technician will be able to fix this. Because if not, I'll be really upset. Thank you for your help though. You've been very patient with me. Our technicians are experts in their field, and I know that they'll do the best they can to help you fix it. Also, just to let you know, since you've given us a call to report this issue, I'll make a notation on your account to provide a credit to compensate you for the time that you weren't able to use your internet service. That will happen once the issue is fully resolved. I see. Thanks for letting me know. I didn't know that. Alright, I'll wait for the technician to come, and we'll see what happens. Thanks again. And not a problem. I know your issue is not yet fully resolved, but rest assured that we're almost there. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to reach us. Thanks for calling FASD Internet. Have a nice day. Bye! And that's everything. I hope that you've learned something from this video. If yes, please give this video a like. You can also consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. If you have video suggestions, feel free to share that in the comment section below. And also share your thoughts because I will be happy to reply to every single comment of you guys. And if you want me to refer you to a financial account or a telecommunications account, I can definitely do that. Just send me a direct message at my Facebook page named Naomi C so we can talk about it. And at the same time, if you would like to learn more about the different accounts in DTO as well as the different call center interview questions and answers, strategies to pass it, mock calls, assessments, and things like that. I'll put the link of all of those videos in the description box below. Those are playlists. You can definitely watch those for you to ace your upcoming interviews. So yes, I'm rooting for you and I'll see you next time. Bye!